Hello and welcome to the Daily Vigil Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Only five days left until Christmas. Have you managed to get all your Christmas shopping sorted out already? I know a lot of people seem to panic by it this time of year. But trust me, the shops will only be closed for a couple of days. And then you'll be left with a load of stuff unopened throughout the year. Why not instead focus on something far more important? Talking of which, shall we open door 20 of our advent calendar? If you saw yesterday's show, then the beginning of this reading from Hebrews may sound familiar to you. But of the Son, he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of what mightness is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. And you, Lord, in the beginning laid the foundation of the earth. The heavens are the works of your hands. They will perish, but you continue. They all will grow old like a garment does. You will roll them up like a mantle, and they will be changed, but you are the same. Your years will not fail. We're reading from Numbers chapter 35 today. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. Numbers, chapter 35 Yahweh spoke to Moses in the plains of Moab by the Jordan at Jericho, saying, Command the children of Israel to give to the Levites of the inheritance of their possession cities to Jordan. You shall give them suburbs of the city around them to the Levites. They shall have the cities to dwell in. Their suburbs shall be for their livestock and for their possessions and for all their animals. The suburbs of the cities which you shall give to the Levites shall be from the wall of the city and outward, one thousand cubits around it. You shall measure outside of the city, for the east side two thousand cubits, and for the south side two thousand cubits, and for the west side two thousand cubits, and for the north side two thousand cubits. The city being in the middle, this shall be the suburbs of their cities. The cities which you shall give to the Levites they shall be the six cities of refuge, which you shall give for the glitter unto. Besides them, you shall give forty-two cities. All the cities which you shall give to the Levites shall be forty-eight cities together, with their suburbs concerning the cities which you shall give for the possession of the children of Israel. From the many you shall take many, and from the few you shall take few. Everyone, according to his inheritance, which he inherits shall give some of his cities to the Levites. He always spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them, When you pass over the Jordan into the land of Canaan, then you shall appoint for yourselves cities to be cities of refuge for you, that the murderer who kills any person accidentally may flee there. The cities shall be to you for refuge from the avenger, that the killer not die until he stands before the congregation for judgment. The cities which you shall give shall be for you six cities of refuge. You shall give three cities beyond the Jordan, and you shall give three cities in the land of Canaan. They shall be cities of refuge for the children of Israel, and for the stranger, and for the foreigner living among them. Shall these six cities be for refuge, that everyone who kills any person accidentally may flee there? But if he struck him with an instrument of iron, so that he died, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. If he struck him with a stone in the hand, by which a man may die, and he died, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. Or if he struck him with a weapon of war in the hand, by which a man may die, and he died, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. The avenger of blood shall himself put the murderer to death. When he meets him, he shall put him to death. If he shoved him out of hatred, or hurled at him, lying in wait so that he died, and hostility struck him with his hand so that he died, he who struck him shall surely be put to death. He is a murderer. The avenger of blood shall put the murderer to death when he meets him. But if he shoved him suddenly without hostility, or hurled on him anything without lying in wait, or with any stone by which a man may die, not seeing him, and cast it on him, so that he died, and he was not his enemy, 
now saws its arm, and the congregation shall judge between the striker and the avenger of blood according to these practices. The congregation shall deliver the killer out of the hand of the avenger of blood, and the congregation shall restore him to his city of refuge, where he had fled. He shall dwell therein unto the death of the high priest, who was anointed with the holy oil. With the killer shall at any time go beyond the border of his city of refuge, where he flees, and the avenger of blood finds him outside of the border of his city of refuge, and the avenger of blood kills the killer, he shall not be guilty of blood, because he should have remained in his city of refuge until the death of the high priest. But after the death of the high priest, the killer shall return into the land of his possession. These things shall be for a law and a practice to you throughout your generations in all your dwellings. Whoever kills any person, the murderer shall be slain at the mouth of witnesses. But one witness shall not testify against any person that he die. Moreover, you shall take no ransom for the life of a murderer who is guilty of death, but he shall surely be put to death. You shall take no ransom for him who has fled to a city of refuge, that he may come again to dwell in the land, until the death of the priest. So you shall not pollute the land in which you are, for blood pollutes the land. No cleansing can be made for the land, the blood that is shed in it. But by the blood of him who shed it, you shall not defile the land which you inhabit, in the middle of which I dwell, for I, Yahweh, dwell in the middle of the children of Israel.